Well, hello folks, welcome back to the channel. I am the Custard Prophet, and uh, we are back in Finland, and we are going to, in this episode, be having a good look around a few Finnish cities, all in the process of trying to uh, get a few more cities in the Baltic tourist achievement. So that is the achievement where you get all 35 of the cities in the Beyond the Baltic Sea DLC. We've currently got 19 of them. I'd like to add maybe another couple of those in today. Um, so this is what we're doing initially. We're going to take a very short drive from Turku where we are at the minute and we're here in this uh, factory or quarry or something and we're going to be taking some ore all the way to Tampere. It's not very far, just around 80 miles north of where we are uh, just about uh, two hours and five minutes so we're going to start that drive uh, and then after that we will be looking at picking up another job and going to one of the other cities that we haven't yet picked up so let's just briefly have a look at the map the route that we're going on as as you can see there's a very very um, little bit of driving that we're doing and actually this will give us Tampere but We'll pick up something in Tampere and maybe just have the short trip down to Lati where our base is. So uh, that is the plan for today. Um, we've got a few things to talk about along the way, um, which uh, a lot of which are comments made on the uh, last episode or previous episodes. And I wanted to kind of address some of the comments that were, were left because there was some, some interesting thing. I asked a question about uh, your favourite DLCs. We had a few answers and I thought it would be nice to kind of share some of those answers and see if you agree that, agree with them or not. And we had some other things, bits and pieces to talk about as well. So we're driving now here through the Finnish countryside. We've got the classic sort of um, red roofed buildings, which if you play a bit of geogasy you know if you see those sort of buildings you're up in Scandinavia somewhere and um, yeah we're, we're, we're going to be driving all the way through north to Tampere where I have been in the past um, so I've been to Turku I've been to Tampere um, both of which I thought were really really lovely places right we'll um, we'll head on actually no we won't because I've got something to show you which if anyone knows what this is, why this is here, let me know in the comments because this was a kind of little surprise when I came down here to collect. Look at this, this huge um, what, fighter jet. I'll take a picture, I think. Yeah, no idea why that's that's there, but there was a one of the around. I think it's Unicoping, possibly or Linkoping, one of the two. Um, uh, there was also fighter jets and aeroplanes around around there as well, which I didn't really understand the significance of. But then it was mentioned in the comment that actually that particular city in Sweden had a, a strong aviation history, so probably something similar that we've got here. But let me let me know in the comments, uh, please. That would be helpful. I was almost got drove into there. Right, folks, we'll drive on a little bit and I'll come back and we'll have a chat about some of the bits and pieces I wanted to talk to you about. See you in a bit. Well, we're wending our way through the Finnish countryside. We've gone you know, a fairly significant uh, distance as we're going past that barley or cornfield. I'm not sure that is on the right either, but some beautiful, uh, beautiful country, countryside and also lots and lots of trees and that is my overriding memory of this area just trees absolutely everywhere i've never seen quite as many trees as i did when we went to finland particularly as we were driving coming into tampere um flying flying into the airport there it was it was quite spectacular i didn't even know where the airport, I couldn't see where we were landing, it was just trees absolutely ever. I couldn't even see a city. Yeah, it was absolutely mad. Um, but yeah, uh, one, one of the things I, I did want to mention, because in the last episode we took a double trailer, which actually went quite well, surprisingly well. Um, but what was the most surprising bit is some of the comments that were left about the double trailer, because I thought the double trailer was, yeah, it must be the biggest longest thing that you can drive but actually uh, apparently in Finland 
according to Kimi Raikkonen, um, there, there are actually other trailers uh, which are even longer. So you can get a three trailer. And how? I, I, I have no idea. Apparently, you can you can in the freight menu you can choose your trailer type, and, and some of them you have that option. I've not actually seen where that is in the freight menu. I'm, I'm struggling to find that. But to go one up on that, as we look like we're just on the outskirts of uh, a town here, but to go one up on that, apparently in American Truck Simulator, there are also trucks uh, or jobs where you can take trailers which are four linked together four and uh, I think that was Megatron Reception who mentioned that and then said well yeah it's it's a bit difficult along mountain passes I mean I'd have thought I'd have thought you know, it was just one truck it or you know one trailer would be difficult along a mountain pass but yeah four that's absolutely insane is that is that something that happens in real life it can't do surely it can't do you cannot have that many trailers so we're just so we're not in Tampere yet we're heading towards it 20 miles away but I mean how could you possibly control it how would you know what's going on all the way back there it's bad enough with what we've got here or when I'm trying to deal with one of the um, the heavy loads or the, the wide loads that we've done in the past it's just four it sounds utterly insane but uh, yeah let me know if you've tried those out and how hard was it how hard was it to control that was it exactly as i found with the two or it must, it must be diff different it must be difficult and what happens if you need to go and put petrol in them what do you do then all these questions going through my mind folks oh we're going right we're going right shit shit don't you come you stay you stay there right i think yeah, we're not actually in Tampere yet, but this is where we're dropping it off. Uh, 11 miles away, so it's just down the road here, I presume. So, uh, yeah, Tampere is a little way out, so it looks like maybe this is a farm or something. I'm just hoping we don't have anything coming in the other direction. All right, folks, I'll see you when we get uh, to our destination. All right, 50 miles an hour on this. <laughs> it's just mad. You can't fit anything down here. But, yeah, lovely little bit of countryside that we're going through and what is that over there uh, is that a hedgerow or what are those like things those bushes just perfectly aligned hedges right so we're delivering this ore I thought I don't know if I mentioned this this might be part of one of the achievements associated with this particular DLC I had that in the back of my mind so let's see if that's the case Let's just drop this off down here, get a few XP for doing that, and we'll see whether we do pick anything up, one of a certain amount. Here we go, so we have done our first job, we're going to take another job from Tampere, and we'll go, no it doesn't look like it, I may... Maybe it was it was somewhere else that all was an important part of that. So let's have a let's have a look at the jobs we can get. So twenty out of thirty five for the Baltic tourist, that's good. And so what I think we'll do for our second job, we've actually got a really nice one up here. And this is the other city I wanted to go, and so we've got the opportunity to actually go pick up this from like downtown Tampere, and then we'll take this to Lati. It's a um, not a particularly expensive one but it's we're taking potted flowers from ikea to suprema unless there's another one that's we get a little bit more money from well is this one here as well no we've been there we've been to helsinki and i did kind of want that particular route so i think that's the one we're going to take so what what i'll do is i will drive the 52 miles to get into Tampere proper. If we see anything en route, we'll have a we'll have a look. At, it's um, it's yeah. I think I'm, it would be interesting to see because there is uh, one thing that I remember from Tampere. I think it was from Tampere. Is there was was it Tampere or was it Turkey? There was a massive like like tower 
that you can go up and look over the rest of the city. That might have been Turkey. Let me know in the comments where that is. Oh, is that Hidden Road? No. It's not. So, yeah, we'll do this job and uh, hopefully check out a little bit more of Finland. And there's a few other bits and pieces I wanted to talk to you about. Well, we apparently are driving right past Tampere, but I guess it's probably over there on the left, but we've not really seen it. Um, maybe maybe we'll see a little bit more up here, but that's, that's a little disappointing. I mean, it, it does seem to stretch over a large area. And we can see the IKEA just over there. But really it's not there's not much city-wise, as far as I can tell. You also can see we're picking up a lot of money. And one of the things I was thinking about doing, been threatening this for ages, is to buy a trailer and then store it in our Lati base. So what I'd like you to do in the comments, please, is let me know which is the best type of trailer that I can buy. Which is like, either it's highly profitable or it's really easy to get jobs. And so I'm, I, I, yeah, I've not tried these at all and I'd kind of like to. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments your experiences with that. Because I've not really seen many people in the YouTube saves that I've watched playing around with the trailers and that feels like it's something that I would like to give a go give a go at. Right, here we are. We are we're at I IKEA. And are we going through here? Feels like we might be. So one of the uh, other questions that I had while we're just driving around um, trying to find where our uh, truck is where is this how do we how do we get through I don't think we can reach it on this side I don't think there's a way a way to go through toast what do you reckon not entirely sure I think it was a bit of a sneaky one. It says we needed to come here, but it looked like there was another way in, and I think it's on the other side. Right. So, yeah. One of the things that... Um, yeah, I one of the comments that I had, which I think was kind of a uh, an important one to, to talk about, was, uh, t was from GT Gaming 98 who asked about the Grease DLC and what I'm planning to do with the Grease DLC, am I, am, I, am I planning to buy it? Those those sort of questions. So, yeah, to address that, yes, I am planning to buy it. Uh, and in terms of what we've done in the past, so when the West Balkans DLC came out, we focused very, very much on that particular DLC for some time exploring all the achievements, exploring the locations, anything that's cool about it, we kind of explored. So um, we will be doing that, we'll be spending a lot of time there. As soon as it drops, even if we're kind of halfway through something here, we will we will head off there. And uh, exactly the same for the uh, Norwegian, uh, or the, the Nordic Horizons DLC. So we're all hooked up and ready to rock and or roll. Right, where are we going? I think we want to be on this side. There we go. So that's, uh, yeah, that's the plan. Um, again, don't know when it's going to come out. The other thing that will happen is we'll have more frequent episodes if, if the DLC drops. So hopefully that will be... As, um, a good thing for you so uh, yeah you'll get to experience it all if you're not planning to buy it straight away and you and you're wanting to have a look what it's all about yeah we will we will definitely be having a, a good look through it and um, I'll be certainly up for hearing anybody's comments on the uh, on the DLC 
and yeah if you if there are things that you would like me to check out then let me know what those are and i'd be very happy to do that as well so yes that's what we will be doing right folks let's just have a look at our route so we're just going to head down this way into lati what i might do for this because i think it'd be kind of good to pick up these uh question marks so that's what we will look to do and we'll actually drive past our base as well which is which is kind of nice so we are about two hours 11 minutes away 75 miles there is the possibility we might need to sleep although i don't necessarily think given the relatively short distance we've got that we actually will need to sleep but uh, we will play that one by ear okay folks we're heading off now down on the on the motorway here down to Lati and uh, I will see you shortly uh, once we get there right folks so we are just 32 miles away. I did want to share with you some of pe some people's thoughts on the their favourite DLCs and the kind of top three DLCs that they well, I thought that was might be in Hidden Road. Ooh. Yeah, top three DLCs that they had. So mine was number three was Beyond the Baltic Sea. I really really enjoyed this uh, since I've been going around it certainly feel that this is in my top three but I can't put any higher than third. Second was Scandinavia I think it's absolutely amazing really really pretty DLC and the top one for me was West Balkans and I think that's the one because it's the one that I kind of experienced right from the start but it was really really well done. There are some absolutely beautiful places um, that have been put into, into West Balkans. There's some fabulous um, hidden roads that you can find there's some really really thoughtful achievements as well so I think that's my kind of reasoning for those this isn't to say some of the other DLCs aren't really really cool some of them I haven't really experienced the Iberia one I've not looked at at all so I can't really place that but these are these are the ones from those that I've had a, a good look around the, the order I'd put them in but I had a couple of other people who, who put theirs in, and if and here we've just arrived in Lati, by the look of it. Although we've not picked anything up just yet. Yeah, there was a, a couple of other, other folks who put their thoughts in there. Kim Rankinen had the choice of Scandinavia as his top one. And yeah, <clears throat> I think Scandinavia certainly seems to be one that's very, very popular. And... Um, yeah I'd agree with that Iberia as his second one as I say I can't really comment on that so this is 21 out of 35 <coughs> for the Baltic tourists so we're, we're getting there we are getting there and the surprise one was Vive la France as his third uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that but um, I think there was some of the things there was because there was a uh, there were delivery points that were not associated with cities and he was really hoping that he might see that in some of the other DLCs that uh, but hasn't yet seen it um, so that was that was him and Zilla Blitz came over to the channel to have a little look at what we were up to and uh, it was very nice to see him there um, he, he put his thoughts in there so his top one was Scandinavia um, so again very very popular Italy as the next one and I think the, his reasoning for that was because that was one of the ones that he's kind of looked around very very early on in his um, in, in his sort of experience of the game and really really enjoyed that and had a great time I agree I really liked Italy and uh, his final one is West Balkans um, and I, I'd kind of agree definitely that that should should be there so what's fascinating with all this is that there are so many people with with kind of different thoughts on this it's in some ways surprised me a little bit that there was quite so much variety in what people were saying yes Scandinavia appears in all of them but a bunch of the older DLCs also appear in them and it appears that they kind of hold a place in people's hearts as well and uh, even though the graphics aren't maybe as good in in some of those it's still you know it shows how good this game is you know even though those graphics aren't 
fantastic. The experience that folks have within those DLCs is still really, really positive. So yeah, I was fascinated by that uh, that that little that whole thing. And if you want to add yours to the list, then please do, and uh, we'll explore those as well if if you'd like that. Right, we are taking a left here. And I also wanted to say we're very, very close. We're going to be picking up some bits and pieces here. But I did want to say a little um, thank you to uh, and uh, to, to those people watching, and and also because the you know it's been I, I've noticed a few sort of new faces appearing in the comments, which is always really, really appreciated. Uh, and certainly, if you are new to the channel and you haven't said hi in the comments we really appreciate just a little hi there because it does uh, really help the channel out even if it's just a you know just a hi enjoyed the episode type thing I mean it's always good to hear and uh, it does help the videos get seen the more people who comments the more likely we are do we have to go in there oh that is annoying I don't want I don't want to have to go in there. Yeah, the more people, yeah, the more people who uh, comment, the more likely it is for the for it to be seen. So, right there we go. Right, we'll let we'll let them go, and then we'll. We'll just uh, scoot back over this way. Ooh. Oops, right. Well, that went well. We both decided to go at the same time. It had all been going so well up until then, up until I tried to uh, find something. So that's that one. And I think what we might be able to do is without actually going in there, if we just kind of loop in there and sort of just pop the uh, our cab nose in this road that should be enough well, it's a Scania dealership no it's not right we're gonna go in and come back out but it is a Scania dealership so I'll, um, I'm gonna see if I can turn around here yep well I've managed to turn around with a minimum of fuss and there's quite a lot of space in that dealership so now we are going to head off. Oh, we could have just turned left. There. Oh, well, we'll have a look at our garage down here as well. Um, but yeah, big thank you to all of uh, yeah all of you who have um, been watching these episodes, if you've been commenting or, or not, um, if you've been liking the video or not, but it's always appreciated if you can do that because it does really help. So that's our garage. There we go. That's all ours. I don't know if that truck's ours. Um, and if you if you are interested, there is absolutely no uh, pressure to do this. But if you are interested to support, no, this is the garage on the right. So what, what, I thought that was the garage. It looked like it. But if you if you would like to support the channel, then there's options um, to uh, to do that as well. And again, that's all all appreciated. Oh, that is it. There it is. That looks pretty fancy, doesn't it? Yeah, we're going to try and get. A a trailer that we can leave in there um, so yeah you can either, either either join as a channel member at various different tiers or you can uh, put a one-off donation into the into the channel and uh, yeah all of that is massively appreciated um, and it all helps helps out um, me you know get DLCs and all those sort of things and makes all that a little bit easier but um, yeah the main thing is that you're enjoying yourself and um, and I'm enjoying myself so uh, let's continue to do that okay that traffic light took an interminable amount of time to actually change there was three different changes that seemed to have to happen which yeah it's always annoying when it's a sort of multi-step traffic light system right folks well I think our our destination is just on the on the left here again it's amazing how much green space are in all of these Finnish cities. Um, I'd love to know whether any part of this city actually looks like uh, it's it's meant to. We're going to just 
So uh, I thought we were going to head in front of this guy, but not going to manage that. Pirelli tyres. But yeah, it'd be interesting to know if it does look similar. If there is this much of green space, I've not been to this particular city, but I'm, I'm actually struggling to see where that is, where the city actually is. It's just sort of the uh, uh, the the industries that I all I can see at the minute. So we're going to just come in here and we'll drop things off, and that will be us. So we'll have picked up. Oh Christ! Didn't quite get that right. Right, there we go. We will just go where we're supposed to go, <laughs> so I don't need to worry about what was going on in the trailer behind us. And there we go. Another delivery uh, in, and uh, yeah, we are done. Nice little look around two of the cities I really wanted to visit in Finland, but in all honesty, I didn't see much of them. I don't know where they are. <laughs> they were on the map, but I didn't see much in the way of buildings. Okay, folks. Well, in terms of what we are going to do next, um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think maybe I might have something to do with the trailer. So give me some tips and thoughts on the type of trailers I should be thinking about buying uh, and then we might have a play with that in the next episode and do that by going to one of the cities that we haven't yet been to in Finland something like that if you like that idea please hit a uh, like down below or if you've got a better idea than that put that down below as well hope you enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel I'll see you for the next one goodbye